Hello sweeties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you this amazing autumnal home in The Sims 4. Hello sweeties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. I am Thea, also known as Seat Simlish over on Instagram and TikTok. Um, and I upload videos twice a week, Tuesday and Friday to my channel. Now today we are building this amazing autumnal starter home. It's nice and small, it's got two bedrooms and I actually challenged myself to build something a bit out of my comfort zone. I wanted to use items, windows, um, landscaping materials that I wouldn't usually use and I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. So as I said this house has two bedrooms, a really tiny living room, a standard sized kitchen with a dining table in it and one bathroom. So the two people I imagined living here is a single mum with her young adult son her son has just graduated from university and he is currently looking for somewhere to stay um, but for right now since money's a bit low he's staying with mother dearest his bedroom is very tiny and cramped it's actually my favorite bedroom that I've built in a while <laughs> and it's just so cozy and cute and comfy despite it being very small in size I feel like it would be a very nice place to relax and work in which is perfect for him since he is looking for a job in the programming career. He can have his little computer set up underneath his desk and it's just all so comfy and cosy. I love it. Now the mum I envisioned is a single mum in her mid 40s looking just looking for love and since she doesn't have it right now all of her focus goes into gardening and her hobby. She also really likes painting her nails and nail design so you'll see lots of nail polishes next to her bed and I thought that went hand in hand like doing your nails and gardening I can imagine how busted up your fingernails must get if you're constantly digging your fingers through soil and uprooting plants so she really does make it a priority of hers to upkeep her nails as part of her self uh, care and happiness I was also thinking that perhaps in the near future the mum would get a boyfriend and he would eventually move in that she would find love and be happy and perhaps her son would move out and give her that freedom that she's been wanting for 21 years so those are the lives of the two sims I envisioned living here and I'm actually really excited to make them like thinking about them <laughs> makes me happy to play with them if that makes sense but for right now I have finished the landscaping and I think I'm about to move on to the inside of the house so the inside of the house I kept it very beige you know me I love a beige house but I did have this conscious decision to interject some pops of color in the house so you'll see in, in areas I add a bit of green and a bit of red um, the boys bedroom is predominantly green and red which is such a nice color scheme especially for a young man just coming into his masculinity I think it's the perfect like a subtle olive green and a deep red it just I don't know it's just perfect to me I don't know why those are such masculine colors in my head but I think it's such a nice combination anyways I'll stop gushing over this house I just low-key wish I had this this room in real life it's just so cute and compact and cozy and comfy with all of the clutter I just used alliteration like five times. Anyway, alliteration to the side. This is just a beautiful room. I wish I had it. I wish I had time to spend in this room. And I actually utilize these Dream Home Decorator wardrobes. I don't usually use them because I find the sectionals and the snapping of them a bit weird, but they worked. It, it freed up some space in the room. Now moving on to the mum's bedroom. It's very plain, very plain Jane, but it's nice. It's cozy and comfy once again. Um, everything that I imagine from sort of autumnal vibed house, just it feels like you can put a fireplace in any of these rooms and it would just top it off it would just be the icing on the cake despite this room being a really awkward shape I feel like I pulled it off I really wanted to use that metal standing mirror but it just didn't go with the vibe that I wanted and I was so sad so I had to delete it for a wooden one it's just so it was all so cohesive but I will be using that in another build because I didn't even know that existed as I said I was challenging myself to use items that I never use and it really did I really did pull out some items from the catalogue that I didn't even know existed in my game <laughs> the kitchen I love the kitchen it's so tiny and cute I also added a dining table in this kitchen which is quite nostalgic for me because every kitchen that I've had in my life we've never had a di separate dining table and so this was just quite nostalgic for me because it reminded me of all of the flats that I grew up in I've had three different flats in my life um, like growing up so all the flats were like that and it just made me feel so happy I also added some clutter in this house I really wanted to clutter it up I wanted it to feel lived in especially since it's a tiny home you wouldn't really have much storage to put your stuff in so I was scrolling through the debug menu for some lovely debug items to put on the countertops and I found them I was really pleased with how the kitchen came out 
The living room is pretty standard. Again, it's beige. I tried to add pops of color with the rug and also the plants, but I'm really pleased with how it came out. And despite it being quite a squished living room, you could easily fit five to six Sims in here if they were seated. Um, so that's quite impressive and to top off the living room I put in some wall art and it came out really cute now the outside I thought I was done with the outside I really wasn't aiming to add a back garden I thought perhaps this house is too small they wouldn't really have a back garden but my creativity took over and I ended up giving them a back garden here I'm just trying to figure out how I can separate the path and the pavement to the path to the house I just decided to put some trees and some greenery as I described it in my last video <laughs> Um, around the sides of the house now this pool was totally unexpected I didn't even envision this in this build now what I was trying to replicate with this pool was a standalone garden pool I think they're called and they are basically just a unit that you can take down once summer ends but obviously this pool that I've made here is made out of wood and so the idea was that they didn't have a pool the, the people who own this house didn't have a pool and they've purchased one that they can just pop up in their back garden so this pool was never built on this land it was never built into the land it is a pop-up pool and that's what I wanted to replicate I'm sure loads of you have paddling pools in your house and you know what I'm talking about I am just describing what it is for the people who don't know what it is <laughs> but I was actually so pleased with how that turned out I'm never creative like that in my builds and I was just really happy with it it made me very very excited to live in this house and have sims live in this house because it's a feature that I never implement but the build is coming to an end now and I just like to say before I go thank you for being here and thank you for watching your support really does mean the world to me remember to subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below and i will leave you to enjoy these screenshots see you in my next one bye